it was left out of the, of the Crimean Tatars, who are the indigenous people of, of Crimea. It's their only homeland. Um, they were deported en masse in 1944 uh, by the Soviets and to Central Asia, and half of them died. And only in the 1980s, late 80s, they started returning back to Crimea. And so they are, they are adamant about not being part of Russia. They don't uh, trust the regime, especially the current rather authoritarian uh, regime that they have in Russia. And they're adamant to, to stay in Ukraine. So that's that's the thing we miss the most. Well, that's that's the case. I mean, it, it seems like there there's just a fraction of that people even that survive to this day. They're the victims of, of, of a terrible homicidal kind of ethnic cleansing. And, and it would seem... Um, at least to my eyes, from far away, like they're being rolled over by history once again. Well, they are, and, and they're not so insignificant. I mean, they're, uh, by now there are probably 300,000 back in Crimea. There's still many left in, in Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan. I mean, that's not an insignificant amount. If you look at the Ukrainians there in Crimea, they're 24%. Altogether, Crimean Tatars and Ukrainians and others are about 40% of the population. So it's not like the Russians, ethnic Russians, are an overwhelming you know, majority. And... Um, you know, we had how many hundreds of thousands of Palestinians that, that you know really were uh, oppressed and made a lot of trouble. And the Crimean Tatars are, are right now they're lying low. They don't want to cause violence. They don't want to do it. But they are said that they will fight if necessary. Uh, so well, it, I want to ask you about that because uh, the West is not trying to defend them. Uh, the government of Turkey, I guess, has made noises about. Um, in, in a yes, sense, there, protecting there, them. There are a million uh, people of Crimean Tatar descent in Turkey. But do they mm -hmm. have the Crimean Tatars? Do they have any real friends right now? Well, uh, they have the Ukrainians as friends. I mean, Ukraine supports them. It hasn't always been very good to them because the government wasn't always corrupt, and they all, they didn't want to alienate the Russian population by helping the Tatars too much. But um, basically, Tatars and Ukrainians are are, are in, this, in this together. Uh, so. Um, you know, it's a matter of basic of human rights. I mean, we, you know, we have international standards, and uh, you know, a group cannot just be rolled over, or you know, they fear even being deported again, or being, you know, if they rise up again, they could be labeled as ex Islamic extremists and so forth, and this could be used in an anti-terrorist operation. They're very feel very very vulnerable.